So I'm going to start here. I start cutting at the top rectangle line. I'm just going to cut around the pattern. And I go around all the way to the top and stop again at the top um, line here. And this is, I'm going to actually be subtracting height on this one. So that's why I went to the top line. If you were adding height, I would have went to the bottom of my rectangle line. So I just checked that I went all the way uh, to the top of my line. Again, I'm subtracting. So I went ahead and put the ruler over the top line of my rectangle. I've lined it up. And then I actually used my mouse to move that pattern. What you would do is it's better to just use the arrow keys. It's going to get steadier um, pan or the slide on your um, pattern and I'm going to move it up to where I cut so I'm subtracting that three quarters of an inch um, there and I just check make sure it's all lined up to my ruler and I subtract then I can continue cutting and again I am going to be subtracting height on that next line as well so you could see I started cutting at the top of the rectangle that I had made or the top line the green line that I have there uh, is where I always I cut. Now if you were adding height you would have went to the second rectangle line. But again I am subtracting height so I went to the top line. I lined it up um, right where I needed it and again I'm going to move the pattern image. I'm not moving my material at all. I'm going to be moving my pattern image um, here is what I'm going to be doing. So I shift it right up moving my pattern image making sure it's lined up with the lines that I've already cut. Um, and then I'll be ready to go ahead and blend those cut lines in and continue cutting. Okay, so for the next one, I'm going to be adding a height. I actually only had to add very little height. Um, but I started cutting at the bottom line of my rectangle because I am adding height. So again, I started at the bottom side of the rectangle, blended up in with the lines that I had cut previously um, on there. And then I line up the ruler uh, where I had cut. Now, hold on, I'm still fixing <laughs> a few things here. Just making sure it was all the way cut. Again, line up my ruler with the bottom line that I just cut. And then I'm going to pan the pattern image down because I'm adding height um, until it matches with the top uh, line of my rectangle. Once it matches with the top line of your rectangle, you can go ahead and cut out the rest of your pattern and then you will be done. You've done your height adjustments.